suddenly that little perk, that kick that got you out of bed at night can't seem to get you to work on your dream in between rushing home, picking up the kids from day here, getting home. Have you done your homework? Good. Have you eaten? No. Well, let's eat. Okay, what are you going to wear tomorrow? Where are you going to fit it all in? You fit it in in a place called now. At some point, each and every one of you has to decide, I'm going to do it now. There has to be a time where you take your children aside and say, mommy has a dream to work on. Or when you just don't feel like it and emotion is not nudging at you, that you make yourself take that moment and do it now. There is a verse I'd like to tell you and it comes from the Bible. And that verse says that you can rejoice always. Well, how can you rejoice always, especially if you don't feel like it? Well, you pray as if you have already received it. Use the power of visualization right at that moment. Stop for a minute and say, I am an internationally known public speaker. Hey, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> I think I can say that again. All right, girl. I am an internationally known public speaker. I will visualize that as if it is currently existing and real in my life right now. As if there are people lined up outside that door to take my business card, which I don't have. So, <laughs> if this is gonna be a reality, I think I need to go get some business cards. But it has to be real for you. Not only that, you have to make the people in your life understand this is real. You see, because it's a mirage for them too. You know why? Because you said you were gonna do this last year. <laughs> right? Now, come on. <laughs> What was the resolution for 1992? <laughs> to become an internationally known public speaker. To tell you the truth, I've been saying this for so long, I don't think anybody takes me seriously anymore. But what made the difference this year? What made the difference this year was at one point I stopped and I said, now is the time. That's what makes the difference. And it can make a difference for you too. Whether you feel like it or not, Visualize it. Hold that passage in your mind. Pray as if ye have already received it and act on it. The next thing for you to do is do something that a pastor told me once in California, and that is put tennis shoes on your prayers. Okay? <laughs> Get up off your knees and get to stepping. <laughs> Isn't there somewhere you need to walk to to make a dream come true? I bet you there's some research. Where do you have to go? Is it the library? Who do you have to talk to? Is there someone you need to network with? Well, they're not in your bedroom. So if you're going to walk there, you need to make that happen for you. The next thing you need to do is put gloves on your dreams. Take those dreams and work with them. Mold them into your life. They're not going to become real if you don't shape them into that special person who you are. <clears throat> How many people know who Les Brown is? I love Les Brown because I love his story. Because I feel if anybody could do what Les Brown did, then I can do it too. But I'm not trying to be Les Brown. I'm trying to be Esther Chambers. Now, I would love to try to be a person who was paid $2,000 for making one speech. So Les and I have something in common. But I have to take my dream and I have to mold that dream into my dream. So those of you, especially if your dreams are new and all you have is a dream,
possibly that you've seen from someone else. Take that dream and work with it like a gardener who gets down. For those of you who like to garden, I personally don't like to, but I've got to put the gloves on them anyway and work it and mold it until my dream is mine. Right now, I would like to do one exercise with you. I would like for you to decide right now what one thing that you've been putting off, and I know I'm not the only procrastinator around here. <laughs> maybe it's something important, or maybe it's something that you just haven't made time to do. I want you to think about that. It's going to be quiet just for a couple of seconds. And then, at the count of three, I want, with you, I want for you to shout with me, celebrate the power of now. And when you say that, I want that one thing to stick with you so much that when you leave here today, you have to do it. Okay, so we'll be silent for a couple seconds. I'll count down to three, and we will celebrate the moment together. <coughs> We're going to say, celebrate the power of now. Okay, three, two, one. Celebrate the power of now! Thank you very much.